at the other, there is no tomorrow. Hi, everybody. James Sabalski here for EA Sports. Game Opening face-off is just seconds away. Don't you just love playoff hockey? Listen to this place. Let's get after it. And he takes the feed. Bertine's got the puck, and he's going to hang on. Passes ahead from the right side. Moves the puck along the half wall. Oh, what a stop by Huska! I'm absolutely shocked that that puck didn't find the back of the net, James. I mean, he was in tight. His perfect shot, he's after it. And the goaltender comes up huge. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. They put the puck into the offensive end. Nizhny Novgorod's got a hold of it against the wall. Bertine's going to hang on for a whistle. happen referee signals penalty coming up here with a delayed call moves it quickly over to scores and the kid comes up clutch here in the postseason oh he does it james gets his first playoff goal i mean it's incredible the confidence that this should give him i mean the pressure and the stakes are high and he delivers that's what you call having a knack for the net, James. When you get in tight and you're sniffing around, you better get that puck off quickly because you know there's defenders all in around you that are going to come and close. Nizhny Novgorod's drawn first blood here in this one by getting on the board first. Uh, and that's exactly what you want to do. You want to play with the lead, not behind it, James. And now it's what they do next. They've created some energy for themselves. Now it's about continuing to attack and find the back of the net again. Just gets enough to keep it out. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. Makes the save with the glove. Gordon's all over that save. I mean, he's dialed in and he recognizes where he has to be at the right time. Here's the puck. And he comes up big with the stick save, getting all of it with the paddle. He reads this play perfectly, James. He gets tight to the shooter. There's no room to put it by him. in for the face-off here just moments away. It's our first opportunity to look at the power play unit here. A power play then can even the score here, James. It is massively important that they create some kind of momentum in their favor on this one. Here they come. Down the left side on the attack. Here's a shot. Nice blocker saved by Huska. Back to the blue line. And he slides it quickly to Graham. Here's a chance in front. Serves up a little too sweet with that save. Long breakout pass to center. Boom! <laughs> wow, what a thunderous hit there! Uh, that was incredible. Everyone is on their feet. Man, did he get nailed. Takes a shot. They score! Putting it home on the power play, and we have evened things up here tonight. Right from the beginning of that power play, James, there just was a confidence about them. The way they own the puck, the precision in the movements, the motion in the offensive zone, and they cash in to tie this game. Well, your specialty team coaches are constantly telling you on a power play that you need to take advantage, and the way that you do that is to take away the eyes of the goaltender. A ton of net front presence here, and that's the reason the seeing eye shot finds its way to the back of the net. Late goings of this period. It's all tied up. Russia's got possession of the puck after that neutral zone face-off. The Tornado scoop it up along the boards. Quick pass across to Gonchar. Oh, and it stays out. He got a piece of that one. Both teams getting a good sweat on after this first period. We've got lots more in store. And we're coming back with a clean sheet of ice next. Do you want the assurance of knowing you have a ticket?
Both teams with a chance to recharge and refresh, and this second period about set to get underway. Neither side giving up much in the opening frame, and here we go, still tied up in the second. Well, we've seen a pretty good sample size already played thus far. Cheryl, your assessment. Disney you knows their odds gotta find their legs, James. I mean, right from puck drop, they just haven't had it. No sense of urgency, and as a result, they haven't been on the attack. The minority of shots, and really, it's their goaltender that's kept them in this one. It's a tie game. Stop that one. The Tudor's crossed the line and is on the attack now. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? The goalie makes an incredible stop, but typically he just invigorates his team with his scoring and his timeliness of it. Levels him with the hit. And he makes a save there. Tripped up on the play, and the referees caught that one. Nice zone entry from the left. Let's see what the officials say. Uh, coaches hate stick infractions. They're real frustrating. You're right there. You're in and around the puck. You go fishing, and you wind up in the box. First power play opportunity of the game. You know they've worked on this in practice to set up the look that they want. Let's see how they move the puck around the perimeter and look to attack. Here inside the defensive zone, they get the puck. Larionov's going to play it against the half wall. One on one with the goaltender. Denied on the breakaway. Oh, he came up clutch there. Well, he really did. Anytime that you're one on one, you gotta beat the shooter, and that's exactly what he does. Shot! Scooped up along the wall by Lariano. Great defensive effort with the stick. James, and he is out of gas. It didn't prevent him from making that save, but now he's going to get some much-needed rest as that puck heads out of the zone. Scores! And they tuck it into the they, back they of the net. on there, James. I think they waved this off immediately. This goal is not going to count. Well, the power play had a ton of ozone possession time, but it was all perimeter, and they didn't find ways to move the coverage. It was easy as a PK unit to stand in that box formation and not move. You have to find ways to create some motion and pull the coverage outside the dots. Here's a centering pass. Picked off in front. Two periods down, one more to go. Both teams have time to get a refresh. Time to drop the puck here in period number three. We've had a great battle tonight through the first 40 minutes. Let's see if it continues here in the third. Steps across the line and on the attack down the right side. Makes the save. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. Nizhny Novgorod's got possession of the puck. The Tornadoes cross the line and gain the zone. Grabs the puck and looks to make something happen. Came up with the save on that play. Well, he typically scores when he... And that climbs off the iron. Nizhny Novgorod trying to gain some momentum in a tight game here, but it's tough to do, and they keep ringing them off the post. Oh, they telegraph the pass. Here he is, all alone! Delayed penalty coming up here. Not sure what happened there. Well, yeah, it looks like he was going left, then he was going right, but his inability to convert because he ran out of room. There's the whistle, and here's the call. The Panthers are off to the box. Interference the call.
Jazz are about to drop the puck. The power play unit back out onto the ice for another opportunity. They haven't scored on the power play yet, but they have another opportunity. The key to this one, gain possession so they can set up. Nice job tying up his opponent. Picked up along the wall by Lynch. Here's a chance. Oh, great save by Burden. Rister. Oh, they do it again. What a great job of trapping the puck. Not one, but two consecutive saves. Great use of the stick here at center ice. Takes a shot. Scores! And they've gone in front thanks to the power play goal. Well, it's all about manipulating the PK, and that's what they did so well to take advantage of that opportunity. The goaltenders are just so good in this league, James. If they see the shot, they are going to stop it. And so you've got to get traffic in front of the net. On this power play, they do an excellent job of getting bodies in front of the paint. The Tornadoes now have the lead here in period number three, and it's crunch time now. It is crunch time, and it's crush times, James. I mean, it's been back and forth all game. Now you find yourself in the lead, so you have the momentum. You've killed your opponents, so continue to hold it. Continue to apply the pressure. Shot! And that one flies over the net. He gets a great look at the net, but it is way off target. It can be fast, it can be hard, but it's got to hit the net. And that shot gets caught in traffic. Well, with earlier success on the power play, I think they'll operate in the same fashion, James, in that 1-3-1 setup where they look to work through the flanks because you know they've got some lethal shooters on this team. Puts it on now. Scores! And the power play works to perfection as they've tied it up. Well, the power play unit knew what was at stake. They knew that they had an opportunity to get the equalizer in this game, and they executed perfectly. Oh, he burns the goaltender on that one. Picks up the rebound and buries it home. Goalie looks frustrated now. James knows that you got to redirect that puck to a safe spot. Rush has made this anybody's hockey game now. We are all tied just the way we love it, Cheryl. Yeah, everyone loves it in the building. I mean, the energy that it's created and the buzz. You can see everyone on the bench. They were up cheering and... This is the momentum switch in the game. This face-off is critical. You want possession, you want to continue to drive the pace and put them on their heels. The Panthers will go to work here in the offensive zone. Nizhny Novgorod's got control of it now from their own end. He's got a step! Oh, the eyes on the play! Uh, and this is a great play by the tender to anticipate and get across to make that save. Puck possession so critical. Another face-off coming up here. Tennessee has won the faceoff here in the offensive zone. Cannon of a shot. Wicked stop by the goaltender. Well, this save is all about the compete to find the puck. I mean, it's a battle, and you're trying to battle your opponent. You can see him bobbing up and down, trying to find the puck. He finds it at the last minute, reacts, and makes the save. Here's a shot. Scores! It's in the back of the net, and it comes from an unlikely source because that's his first career playoff. Well, he's been relentless, James, in this playoffs. And you know what? He's found a way to find the back of the net. That's going to be a huge confidence boost for himself and his teammates. Well, that goal is not just about the offense, but the energy that it provides. I mean, all you have to do is have a look at the bench, and you can recognize how much he means to this room. Rush has been locked up in a dogfight all evening long, but look at this. They pushed through and found that go-ahead goal here in period number three. Well, I think they continue the scrappy dogfight. Don't get in the mindset to sit back. If you sit back and you allow entry into your zone, guess what? You're playing defense. Get on the hunt. Get on the prowl. Stay on the puck and you'll win this game. Oh, another stop! Well, he was dialed in to make the save with his mask, James, but I don't know how dialed in he's going to be now. He might be a little fuzzy. Here's a short pass to Bowie. The Tornadoes carry it along the wall. Takes the 
pass in the corner. Off his head. Yeah. Scores! And with that, I believe that's his first career playoff goal. Well, it is, James, and it's going to feel pretty good because there's a lot of question marks around players who can't get it done in the playoffs, and he finds the back of the net. That's going to give him a big confidence boost to send him through the next game. That goal just lit a fire under the bench, James. Anytime you play with energy, it can be contagious. And it's shift by shift that you can drive your teammates forward. He's a leader, and he found a way to get his team on board. Nisney Novgorod's hard work, dedication, and perseverance has paid off here with a goal late in the third. I love that they battled all game to be in it, James. And they get the equalizer in the late stages. And now the momentum is in their favor. They've got to find a way to attack. This next shift is so important to have their opponent on their heels. Well, he's been dialed in right from puck drop, and he has been under siege, James. Nice job to hold on to that puck. Now they can hit the reset button. What an incredible save in a high-danger scoring area. I mean, right in the slot, he's in perfect position to make that club save. Scores! Oh, what a finish to shoot! Well, the reaction on the bench, it says it all, James. I, I mean, this is their fearless leader who provides a ton of energy to this group. The timeliness of the goal, the energy that he brings, and he what he means to this team. I need no look any further than the leader on this team who buries it home. I mean, he has got ice in his veins, and he knows the timing. When his team needs something, they look to him, and he answers. Nisney Novgorod's looking to close things out here late in this third period as they continue to lead. The tune-offs run the drive center. Rush's goalie is on the bench. The extra attacker has jumped into the play. Takes the pass. To the empty net. That's all she wrote from this one. A huge response to even the series, and we're going to game seven. Can you even pick one way or the other here, Sean? Uh, I don't know if you can pick one way or the other, but I, I got to lean towards the team that just tied it up. I mean, belief on that bench right now is at an all-time high. And you can talk about skills on both sides. Obviously, it's there. Two top teams playing. But you have to look at the, what is going to be the difference maker. And often, it's something so small, like belief, which is actually huge. Well, hope to see you down the road real soon as we say goodbye here from ringside tonight. From all of us here at EA Sports, I'm James Cebulski. Good night.